Westmore Observatory, calling dirigible Chandro. Westmore Observatory, calling dirigible Chandro. Not scared, are you, buddy? Well, I guess I was a little scared before you got above that blizzard. Keep a secret? Yes, sir. So was I. <laughs> well, I'm still scared. What for? We're up so high we can hardly breathe. We're about to run out of oxygen. Westmore Observatory, calling dirigible Chandro. All right. Flying too low now. They can any more ice and snow. Calling dirigible Chandro. Westmore Observatory, calling dirigible Chandro. Good, they finally found us. Great, and take the controls. Dirigible Chandro answering. Go ahead, Westmore. I've contacted Miss Buck's voice. Hello, Chandro. Is that Lieutenant Rogers speaking? Buck Rogers to you, Professor. Hello, Dad. We're having a swell time. Are you all right, Buck? Where are you? Okay so far, sir. Still riding above the blizzard. What's your exact position? Can't say. Within about 300 miles, sir, on account of drift. Holding about 40,000 feet elevation. Have to stay here until we ride out the storm area. I think we can do it. Breathing is getting hard. Running low on oxygen, sir. I'm going to drop down a couple of thousand feet. I've got to have air. Throw our ballast. We're losing altitude. We're going down where we can breathe. Are you fool? We're loading down with ice. Maybe too late now to get this weight. Professor, we've dropped down into the storm. Buck's trying to climb up, but he can't make it. What are you going to do? Bail up before we crash! Stop him, Mitchell. He'll freeze to death before he lands. It's better than dying in here like rats. Do you think there's any chance for them, Professor? I'm afraid they're likely to crash, but there is one chance. Hello, buddy, can you hear me? Yes. Then listen carefully. Do you remember that tank of Nibano gas I put aboard just before you took off? Yes, sir, I do. If you're forced down, will you promise me to turn the lever on that tank as far to the right as you can, buddy? Yes, sir, I will. No, I don't get it. Uh, what is Nibano gas? It's a recent discovery of the professors, uh, a gas that induces suspended animation. Suspended animation? Well, that's a lot of hokum, isn't it? Like uh, perpetual motion and showing. You see that dog? He's been in there nearly three months. <laughs> What's strange about that? He's dead, isn't he? He's neither dead nor alive for the time being. do come to life. Here, feel his heart. Why? It's starting to beat. I put a tank of that gas aboard the Chandro as a precautionary measure. If they were forced down in some inaccessible spot, I hoped it would sustain their lives until relief ships could rescue them. What is it, buddy? Buck says we're going to crash. Go goodbye, Dad. Ask Buck for his approximate latitude and longitude. Buck, Professor Boyer wants to know your approximate latitude. What's happened? Hello, Chandro. Hurt bad, buddy. Oh, not much. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Sandro just crashed. Give me your latitude and longitude and turn on the Navano gas. Gas is turned on, sir. Latitude. Latitude about 70 knots, sir. Longitude.
You were right, Lacey. It's the remains of some ancient type of spaceship. Wonder why we never saw it before. I've flown over this place a hundred times. It's probably covered with ice most of the year. Let's take a closer look. We'll use our disintegrator pistols. Some sort of gas. <laughs> Certainly is an antique. They're in a perfect state of preservation. Must have been frozen since the ship crashed. almost natural temperature. Let's get them out of here. This gas is making me drowsy. Well, uh, take hold of his feet. Why? He's alive! Sure I'm alive. What's wrong with you? Buddy. Yeah. Buddy, step out of it. Uh, he's all right. Professor Morgan's gas should did the trick. <laughs> How long have you been looking for us? Why, we weren't looking for you. Well, that doesn't make any difference. You found us anyway. I think we'd better take him to Professor Cure. Our patrol ship is beyond that point of rocks. Now, now wait a minute. March. at least a hundred years ahead of anything I ever saw. I wonder how fast we're going. About a thousand miles an hour at least. Polar Patrol calling operations office. Polar Patrol calling operations office. Operations office. Go ahead, Polar Patrol. Golly, they sure dial in quick. Put this call through to scientist General Heuer. It is urgent. One moment. Go ahead. Captain Rankin speaking. We're approaching the city with two prisoners, found in a dirigible. A dirigible? That's impossible. Such ships haven't been used since the 20th century. 20th century? What does he mean? I don't know. The ship was frozen in the tip of Bering Glacier. The prisoners were in a state of suspended animation when we found them. Bring them directly to me when you land. That is all. General Suspect, sir. You're to come directly to his headquarters. 
Thank you, Lieutenant. Come along, men. So what kind of an elevator is that, anyway? By radioactivity, it breaks down the atoms of the body to their component parts. And reversing polarity reassembles them wherever desired. Take my place, Lieutenant Deering. Follow our spaceship through the televi. How did you come to be in that dirigible? I was in command. We'd taken off from New York and were making a transpolar flight around the world when... Uh, what year was that? 1938. 1938? Impossible! Let me verify that. Nineteen thirty-eight. Uh-huh. There was such an expedition. Uh, your name, please. Buck Rogers. Uh, Lieutenant Rogers, officially. And yours, my boy? My name is George Wade, but I'm usually called Buddy. Nirvana Gas. Well, that explains it, then. Rankin, we are witnesses to a scientific miracle. By means of a gas discovered by Professor Morgan, these two people have remained in a state of suspended animation for 500 years. 500 years? That, that makes me old enough to be my own great-grandfather. But, Professor Hewer, that's impossible, sir. Dr. Hewer, Killer Kane has captured another of our pilots. <laughs> save yourself considerable discomfort by telling me where to find the entrance to the hidden city. I do not remember. I think I know a way to make you remember. Look into that instrument. Look into it. Those men were once pilots of Dr. Hewer's ships. Now they are living robots. Men robbed of all willpower while they wear the helmets I had designed for them. Shall I have you measured for a robot's helmet? Or will you tell me where the entrance to the hidden city is? I do not remember. Take him away! I, I, I don't understand, sir. Uh, who is this man called Killer Kane? He is the result of the stupidity of the men of your century. You failed to stamp out lawlessness, and at the end, the criminal became stronger than the law. Racketeers, you call them. Today, they rule the world as cruelly as they ruled their gangs in your day. Well, isn't there any chance of help from an outside source? Well, only from men on some other planet. Another planet? <laughs> well, that doesn't sound very hopeful. It could be, but our spaceships seem unable to, to slip through Kane's air blockade. We've lost five thus far trying it. You mean you actually have ships that can travel from planet to planet? Of course. And if you have ships that can travel that far, you know, I think I know a way of running that blockade. Well, if you have any plans, I'm ready to listen to them. But to me, it seems much hopeless. Am I right, Marshal Craig, in assuming that you can operate a plane from the ground at such a distance, mind you, by means of radio? That's correct, Rogers. Well then, sir, why don't you send up such a ship as a decoy? While Kane's patrol is following it, I can slip through in a spaceship and get help from Saturn. We've already lost too many ships and crews. We can't afford to try it. It seems to me you can't afford not to try it, sir. Rogers is right, Marshal. 
Unless we get help from Saturn, our cause is lost. Very well, sir. You're in charge. Thank you very much. Lieutenant Deering, you will go with Rogers to establish a means of communication with Saturn, if you do get through to that planet. Patrol ship 74 calling 60,000 foot patrol. Shall I lay our course directly for Saturn now, Buck? May as well. Hey, Buck, look. They fell for it, all right. Fly that spaceship with no one in it. We can direct all the aircraft from the control room until they reach the outer atmosphere. I don't think we'll run into any more trouble. Why don't you take a nap, Wilma? I'll, I'll take the controls. Thanks very much. What's that up ahead? Looks like a gray wall. That's the outer atmosphere of Saturn, buddy. It's ten times denser than the air around the Earth. What was that? I don't know. Look, it's two of Killer Kane's ships coming up fast behind us. Charge your speed to one half. If we do, they'll get away from us. Don't worry about that. They'll either have to slow down or go up and smoke. Retarding rockets. If we have that atmosphere at this rate of speed, the friction will bring us to a crisp. Look, they smashed some rockets. I can't fire them. in the oxygen tanks. If they explode, they'll be blown to atoms. Buddy, take the controls. The portholes are giving way, Buck. That's no use. The heat is melted at the valve hands. It's a move, buddy. There's only one hope for us. Climb above this atmosphere back into outer space.
Look, what's that up ahead? Looks like a gray wall. That's the outer atmosphere of Saturn, buddy. It's ten times denser than the air around the Earth. your speed to one half. If we do, they'll get away from us. Don't worry about that. They'll either have to slow down or go up and smoke. Retarding rockets. If we enter that atmosphere at this rate of speed, the friction will burn us to a crisp. Fuck! They smashed the rockets. I can't fire them. in the oxygen tanks. If they explode, we'll be born to atoms. Buddy, take the controls. The portholes are giving way, Black. That's no use. The heat is melted at the valve heads. Move, buddy. Anti-gravity belts. We'll have to bail out. Buddy, open the airlock. That's no use. The heat's jammed the door. Stand back, woman. Looking place. Not a sign of life anywhere. Spaceship Squadron 74 calling Earth, calling the leader. Spaceship Squadron 74 calling Earth, calling the leader. Spaceship Squadron 74 calling Earth, calling the leader. This is the leader. The Hidden City spaceship just blew up in the outer atmosphere of Saturn. No survivors? There couldn't be, sir. How high off Saturn are you? 50,000 feet. Follow the wreck down and be sure they're all dead. Yes, sir. Stand by the retarding rockets. Signal the other ship that we're going down. Yes, sir. This traveling around from Earth to Saturn's all right, if you're sure of a way home. Well, we could at least talk to home. Will you set up that portable radio, buddy? Yeah. Lieutenant Deering calling the scientist general of Earth. Lieutenant Deering calling the scientist general of Earth. Air control headquarters of the hidden city. Go ahead, Lieutenant Deering. Give me the scientist general at once, please. Wilma, this is Dr. Hewer. Are you safe, all of you? So far, yes. Our outer atmosphere patrol reported two of Killer Kane's spaceships took off after you. They did, and shot down our ship, but we got away with our gravity belts. Well, if all of Saturn is like this, you can have it. Right. Rex over that way. Tell the men on the other ship to stand guard. Perhaps the Saturnians have spaceships. If so, we'll try to bring a peace mission back to Earth with us. A good idea. Now keep in touch with me. If you get into difficulties, we'll do anything in our power to bring you back. Very good, Dr. Hewer. I'll sign off now. Can't see how they got away from that wrecked ship. But they won't get away from this. Wait. We'll take them alive and force the secret of the hidden city from them. Let's attack them from both sides. Circle around them. 
Buck, I just saw one of Killer Kane's men go behind those rocks. Are you sure? Positive. He must have landed their ship and are following to capture us. Maybe we can beat them at their own game. Follow me. Don't let them guess we know they're trailing us. Nice going, buddy. Done like a major. How many of you on the loose around here? How many? There were four of us. Four, huh? Wilma. Wilma, keep him covered. Come on, on your feet, sir. Come along, buddy. We've got a date for another surprise party. On your feet. Get him back around out of sight. Stop where you are. Hand me that gun. Give it to me. There's nothing else you can do, woman. All right, man. Let's get them back to the spaceship. Pat, check the rockets on the other ship. Do not move. Any of them. Drop your weapons. You are from the Earth, are you not? Oh, yes, we came here to make a treaty. It would be useless to explain to me. I am only a soldier acting under orders. Two of you stay and guard the ship. The other two bring the others after me. nothing to fear from the Zugs. They are a primitive race and quite harmless. 
unless we instruct them to be otherwise. This way, please. Here are the prisoners you ordered me to bring in, sir. I am Alda, director of the Council of the Wives. I have had you brought here to explain your presence on Saturn. You may speak. We came here as envoys. Seeking an alliance with you people of Saturn. And why do you desire such an alliance? To escape the tyranny of a man called Killer Cain, who has imposed his rule on all but a handful of us. A man who governs by brute force. That's not true. The leader Kane is a just man. He rules with the consent of all save a few revolutionaries. Revolutionaries? Is it true that you are revolutionaries? Ah, in a sense, I suppose we are. If it's revolutionary to protest against brutality. I have had enough. Rebels or not, I say throw them all into prison. Saturn wants no contact with outside planets. But in this age of science, we cannot hope to isolate ourselves from the rest of the universe. But we are dedicated to peace and have no patience with rebels. Then why not form an alliance with our government and help us stamp out this rebellion? The point is well made. We'll imprison the revolutionaries and treat with the envoys of the leader, Cade. Then I jump tail and run for the sliding panel. But we can't escape the guards. We'll have to try. Throw the others in prison. One wrong move from any of you. You need a new council of the wise. Seize him! Somebody's got the power. And there's no way out of here either. Say, Buck, I saw Tally use a force gun on Alaska. I don't suppose there's enough power to move this car. I don't know. We'll soon find out. We'll come over here. That's going to work, buddy. It was a good idea. How can we follow them with the power cut off? This is my private car, and it has an auxiliary motor. Spaceships are over there. What about those awful Zug guards? Take care of them with this gun. Maybe inside. We'll take the ship with the door open. Stand where you are, I'll fire. 
Buck, don't, don't you? I don't think he understands you. Buck, you've killed him. No, no, it was only a demi charge. Just knocked him out. Hurry, get back to the ship. I'll fire the starting rockets. All right. Dog down the door, buddy. See if all the portholes are closed. Okay. After them in the other ship. We'll do better than that. Take this ship up alone? I don't have to take it up. This radio and the one on their ship are tuned sympathetically. By setting this radio, I can automatically control their course and force them to crack up. Better increase your rocket pressure, Wilma. We're losing altitude. But I'm using enough now to take us to 100,000 feet. Climbing fin is jammed. They're bringing us down from the other ship. That's a dual radio control. No crashes unless we can break their reception. Get back. Over here, buddy. Boy, is that a close call? Well, I'd be glad to get back to Earth. Yeah, that's right where you're going, buddy. Wilma and Rogers must prevail on the Saturnians to lend them a spaceship to return to Earth. That's no Saturnian craft, Doctor. It's one of Killer Kane's spaceships. Well, impossible. I know that type of ship too well to be mistaken. Have you tried to contact them on our wavelength? As a matter of fact, I haven't. Well, we must do so at once. There's a spaceship at 274.6. Contact at once on our wavelength. Yes, sir. Air Marshal calling spaceship on 274.6. Gosh, Buck, I guess we'll be landing pretty soon, won't we? That's right. At least the radio was working so we could contact Dr. Hero. Well, that isn't necessary. I know the secret entrance to the hidden city. We'd better start using our retarding pressure. Air Marshal calling spaceship on 274.6. I'm sorry, sir, there's no contact. That proves it, Doctor. It is a cane ship. But I can't understand. There's only one answer, Doctor. Wilma and Rogers must have betrayed the secret entrance to the city. There's the signal to open the gates. What shall I do, sir? Open them and stand by to close them at my command. Yes, sir. They got our signal. They're in the lock now, sir. Close the gates, them and put all the power of the dynamos behind you. The gate is jammed!
a space shift at 274.6. Contact at once on our wavelength. Yes, sir. Air Marshal calling spaceship on 274.6. Gosh, Buck, I guess we'll be landing pretty soon, won't we? That's right. Wish the radio was working so we could contact Dr. Euro. Well, that isn't necessary. I know the secret entrance to the hidden city. We'd better start using our retarding pressure. Air Marshal calling spaceship on 274.6. I'm sorry, sir. There's no contact. That proves it, Doctor. It is a cane ship. But I can't understand. There's only one answer, Doctor. Boomer Rogers must have betrayed the secret entrance to the city. There's the signal to open the gates. What shall I do, sir? Open them and stand by to close them at my command. Yes, sir. They got our signal. They're in the lock now, sir. Close the gates, Hunt, and put all the power of the dynamos behind you. The gates are jammed! Notify the airport not to drop the wrecked ship to the airdrome. Have it lowered with crane. I want to examine it. Yes, sir. Buddy! Buddy! Get that to gravity belt! They'll have a chance. Quick, quick, through that opening. Well, they're getting out through the floor of the ship. You're under arrest. Under arrest? I'm Lieutenant Deering of the Sarnus General Staff. I know who you are, but I have orders to arrest anyone who escapes alive from that ship. That sounds as if the ship was wrecked deliberately. Save your questions for the air marshal. Buck, Wilma, how did you get here? The air marshal ordered me to arrest anyone who escaped from the wrecked ship, sir. You mean you were in that spaceship? Yes, sir. But it's one of Killer Kane's spaceships. That's why I ordered it destroyed. It's the only way we could escape from Saturn, sir, after the men of that planet turned against us. We'd better discuss this in my office. Report back to the officer of the day, Lieutenant. Come. So the Saturnians proved hostile, did they? Yes, sir. But they were tricked into it. You see, two of Kane's ships followed us to Saturn. They wrecked our ship, captured us, took us before the Saturnian consul. <laughs> they pictured Kane as a just and kindly ruler here on Earth. Us as bloodthirsty revolutionists. Revolutionists? We, a handful of honest citizens, who are fighting to save the world from Kane and his super racketeers? Why, we... We would do well, Dr. Hewer, to hear the rest of Roger's report. Oh, you're right. I gather our chances of getting help from Saturn are very slight. Uh, the situation is worse than that, sir. The Saturnians may even join with Kane in his fight against him. That is bad. Outnumbered as we are by Killer Kane's outlaws, our fight has been all but hopeless. But if Saturn joins with Kane against us, it means the end of law on Earth, the enslavement of our people. Captain Lasker, you have told the Saturnian Council that your leader Kane was a just man, that he ruled the world with a kindly hand. That is true, sir. You have said that his rule is threatened by a group of revolutionaries and that he needs our help to preserve peace and justice on the earth. That also is true, sir. It is the duty of every honest government to aid in the suppression of anarchy wherever found. To that end, we have signed this promise of support. Prince Talon, you will visit the earth with Captain Lasker. Verify his story. If it is true, you will present this treaty to the leader Kane for his signature. Saturn will abide by your decision. Can your spaceship be ready to leave, Captain? It is ready now, and I suggest we start at once. I thank you in our leader's name for your faith in us, for your promised help.
is Prince Talon, Lieutenant Patton. We're leaving for Earth immediately. Did everything work out as you hoped? I think our troubles with Dr. Hewer are about over. Have you identified the ship, Hewer? Beyond question, it's a Killer Kane ship. May I look, sir? Oh, why, of course. Uh, it's a sister ship to the one we came back from Saturn in, sir. Then that means that Killer Kane's men have probably completed their mission on Saturn. If we only knew if they made the alliance with the Saturnians. Well, haven't we got any spies working with the Killer Kane people? Well, we've tried it. But every one of them has been captured and put into Kane's robot battalion. Sir, what was done with the stuff taken from the wrecked spaceship? Dr. Hewer has the instruments. The rest of the equipment was put in military storage. Then you still have the uniforms taken from the crew's quarters? Are you suggesting that we use those uniforms to get a spy into Killer Kane's camp? Yes, sir. I'd like to volunteer for the detail. Oh, you'd only be captured and spend the rest of your days in Kane's robot battalion. I'm afraid that you're of more value to us in the air, Rogers. But, Marshal Craig, if I can get the information concerning the Saturnian Treaty, sir, may mean the success of our campaign. He's right, Hewer. You haven't a chance in a thousand. But if you're willing to risk it, I can't afford to refuse the offer. Thank you very much, sir. Hello, Buck. Hi, Bud. Say, uh, I, I just heard about you going to spy on Killer Kane. Yeah? Yeah. Gee, I never figured you were the kind of a guy that let a pal down. I don't get you. Well, I... Well, I sort of figured that wherever you went, that Will and I could go. Now, listen, kid, you don't be like that. You know, I would take you if I could. You would? Why, sure I would. Well, hold everything. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? Buddy, wait. How did you get in here? Oh, I, I just came in. You see, I've got some very important things to talk over with you, sir. Oh, I see. Uh, Buck, I mean, Colonel Rogers wants me to go with him. What on earth for? Well, he's going to need me. See, that's too big of a job for just one man. Why, if Buck ever gets into a jam over in Killer Kane's country, why, he's going to need help. Well, as you see, this is a very important matter, Master Wade. I'm sure that you could be of uh, great assistance to Colonel Rogers. But I'm afraid I can't give you my consent. Wade! Where are you? Wade! Honest Indian, Buck. That's just what the Air Marshal said. He, uh, he said I could be of great assistance to you. You'll take me, won't you, Buck? Yeah, there's a fast one in there somewhere. But if that's what the air marshal said, I suppose we have to obey orders, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Come on. It's all right, Rankin. Why, Colonel Rogers, you startled me in that uniform. I'm glad we did. Hope we do as well in Killer Kane City. <laughs> Ready to take off? All set, sir. Your speed and circle the palace. Buddy, now bail out. Yes, sir. Your 
this city is a beautiful one, Leader Kane. Far more beautiful than I'd expected. Thank you. Unfortunately, there are people on Earth who would give up all this and return to the old ways. You mean the people of the hidden city? Yes. Our rule of science will not be completed until they are put out of the way. Which one of those buildings is Killer Kane's? That big one with the terraces. I'll circle it in a minute. Switch it to gravity belts and prepare to bail out. Right on. So long, Lincoln. Good luck, Hi, Lieutenant. It's contrary to the leader's orders to land on these terraces. Show me your registration card. Well, sir, we were in a hurry to get to him. We have important news. Let me see your registration card. Why, your spies, John Keith. All right, not a sound out of you except an answer to my questions. Buddy, got an extra belt lace? Good. Tie his feet. Are there any more of you on this terrace? Well, never mind that. Better kill Kane's rooms. Listen, I haven't any time to waste with you. I'll just give you 10 seconds to answer that. It's the top floor of this building. Buddy, grab his legs. We'll drag him out of sight. I sent for you because my patience is about at an end. You have all read the treaty which our good friend Prince Talon has brought from our sister planet, Saturn. It pleases me. Buddy, get a gravity belt from the rack we just passed. Are there any objections from the councils? Then I submit it to you for your signatures. No one will sign that treaty, Kane. I'll take it. Cards! How did you get in here? We were here when you and Prince Talon entered the room. It's Buck Rogers. Who is Buck Rogers? He's the hidden city American who came to Saturn. Talon, you're not going to sign this treaty until I've had a chance to show you just why this man is called Killer King. Don't be a fool, Rogers. If you persist in this folly, my men will kill you. Not until I've shown Prince Talon just what you do with your prisoners, Kane. Get to the televi. Go on, move. Prince Talon, you go with him. Buddy, keep these counselors covered. Get the dynamo room. I said the dynamo room, Kane. See for yourself, Prince Helen. Those steel caps they're wearing are amnesia helmets, an invention of Kane's scientists to rob men of their minds and their will. But this is incredible. Nevertheless, Talon, it's true. Now do you know why we are fighting this man? Who is your leader? I shall be glad to treat with him. That's a very handsome gesture, Prince Talon. But how do you and Rogers plan to leave my city? You will be arrested by my guards before you can leave the palace. I've taken care of that, King. Buddy, toss me that gravity belt. A gravity belt? I don't understand. It's a device we use here on Earth. It's really an outgrowth of the old parachute. Put it on, Teller. <laughs> 
Oh, I see. Buddy. Out the window you go, you two. Well, how about you, Buck? Never mind about me. street level. With these two gravity belts, we may be able All to... troops, police patrols, and loyal citizens are ordered to be on the lookout for three fugitives. Two of them are spies from the hidden city, disguised in the uniforms of Leader Kane's soldiers. The third is the Saturnian, and they're in the vicinity of the leader's palace. Very good, Captain. Repeat that on all wavelengths until the fugitives are captured. Boy, we we'll never get out of here now. <laughs> Cheer up, buddy. We haven't caught us yet. City, disguised in the uniforms of Leader Kane's soldiers. The third is the Saturnians, and they're in the vicinity of the leader's palace. They're on the terrace. with some sort of a ray gun. street level. With these degravity belts, we may be able to... Police patrols and loyal citizens are ordered to be on the lookout for three fugitives. Two of them are spies from the hidden city, disguised in the uniforms of Leader Kane's soldiers. The third is the Saturnian, and they're in the vicinity of the leader's palace. Boy, we'll never get out of here now. <laughs> Cheer up, buddy. They haven't caught us yet. All troops, police patrols, and loyal citizens are ordered to be on the lookout for three fugitives. They're on the terrace. 
of Leader Kane's soldiers. The third is the Saturnian, and they're in the vicinity of the leader's palace. Town's been shot with some sort of a ray gun. This paralyzed array will hold them. Radio headquarters and say we have them trapped. I'll be gravity belts and go over the parapet. Well, how about Prince Talon? He's still out. I'll set his belt and we'll take him down between us. You two men come with me. We'll have to spread out and search every corner of the terrace. Yeah, I hope Talon isn't hurt very much, Buck. I don't think so, buddy. It'll take a little while to wear off, though. behind you. That light spots us we're sunk. Quick, buddy, in there. Hey, Bucky, it's a patrol. They're searching all the doorways. You stay here and watch Talon. Oh, but Buck. But you do as I say. Oh! You're under arrest. But, sir, we're... Never mind that. Let me see your registration card. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot for the moment that only two of the fugitives are wearing our uniforms. The other one's a Saturnian. Your card? Thank you, sir. I guess we're all a little on edge to find them. Yes. Uh, you're wasting your time searching around here. My men are patrolling this area. Well, I'll take my men down the leader's private airfield. They might try to escape from there. It's a good idea. Thank you. How do you feel, Talon? Much better, but I can't walk yet. Well, that's all right. Take it easy. And stay here until daybreak. Then head for Kane's airport. How far is it to your hidden city, Colonel Rogers? Oh, about a thousand miles. Most of it's Kane's territory. Yeah. The way it looks to me, it might as well be a million. <laughs> nah, it's not quite that bad, buddy. We get to Dr. Hewer yet.
Yes, Captain Rankin? Air Marshal Craig sent me down with these reports on the activity in Killicane City. Any news about Colonel Rogers and Buddy? Not a word. Get the Air Marshal for me. Yes, sir. Never mind. I'll go up and see him. Oh, Doctor, might I go with you? Oh, yes, if you like. I should never have let Rogers go on this mission. Much too dangerous. some of the ships from the Outer Atmosphere Patrol. Assign them to cover Kane City. Rogers must be given all possible help. Nothing new from Rogers. I'm sorry, Doctor, not a word. It looks bad. Well, Marshal Craig, we can't just stand here and do nothing. Maybe if we... Lieutenant Deering, you forget where you are. I'm sorry, sir. Now, it's possible that Rogers has escaped. He may be somewhere in the open country between here and Kane City. I suggest we send out a scout patrol to look for him. Do so at once, Craig. Lieutenant Deering. Yes, sir. You're a member of the 7th Pursuit, aren't you? Yes, sir. Order out the squadron. Cover all of the open country between here and Kane City. Flying at a low altitude. I'll have your complete flying order sent to the airport. That is all. Yes, sir. She'll find Buck Rogers if anybody can.
speaking. Let me speak to the leader. Calling the leader. Calling the leader. Calling the leader. This is the leader. What have you to report? The fugitives have escaped in your patrol ship, sir. Escaped? In my ship? You blackheads! I'll send every one of you to the robot battalion. Report to the guard captain under arrest. Yes, sir. The leader's airport. The spies have escaped in my private patrol ship. Send the squadron after them and shoot them down. Warn all outposts. If they break through to the open country, we'll never get them. And you are the men I made counselors of Earth. I would be better served by this Buck Rogers who walked through your men as if they were children. I notice you didn't capture Rogers when he was in this very room. Krenko, I warn you. Another statement like that and you will go before the firing squad. And so will all of you if you fail me again. Now get out! to your hidden city, Colonel Rogers. Oh, uh, about 600 miles. I wouldn't call old Dr. Hugh exactly handsome, but I sure would give a lot to see his face right now. <laughs> I bet you would, buddy. Tell and I should have returned this treaty to you after I took it from Killer Kane. I'd forgotten about it in the excitement. Someday you must return to the planet Saturn with me and receive the thanks of my people for preventing the alliance with Kane. I'd rather you thank me by giving us your planet support and smashing Killer Kane's armies. Hey, Buck, here comes a whole squadron at us. Is it a Kane squadron? No, no, it's one of our own from the Hidden City. Calling Lieutenant Deering. This is Lieutenant Deering. Go ahead, please. There's a Killer Kane ship approaching beneath us about 6,000. Pull out a formation and bring it down before they can communicate with headquarters. Yes, sir. Hey, Buck, one of them's diving at us. I can't un... Yes, I can. This is Killer Kane's ship. They think we're an enemy. It's just below us. Fire a blast into the tail surface as I level out. They're going to shoot us down. The only thing we can do is set down and let them see who we are. time I ever saw Killer Kane's ship give up so easily. Why, it's Buck Rogers and Buddy. You were an enemy ship. I'm so glad that was not a direct hit. Uh, that makes it unanimous, Wilma. Who is this? One of Killer Kane's men? I know. He's the best friend we have, Randy. It's Prince Talon, envoy from the planet Saturn. He's going to help us in our fight against Killer Kane. Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't understand. Well, that's an old custom we have here. It's a sign of friendship, like this, Talon. <laughs> that's right. Wilma, report back to your squadron. Advise your commander what happened. Tell him we'll follow you back to the hidden city in Kane's ship. All right, Buck, I will. Good. Okay, Buck, do your duty. It's funny, Buck, it doesn't work. Right. Let me see. Better check the rocket tubes. You two wait here. That's the leadership, all right, Patton. Stand by to dive. 
Attention all ships. Our target is grounded directly below. Stand by to dive. Ah, it's a good thing Wilma's first shot was light. Anything wrong, Buck? Yeah, the port tube is bent in. Won't release the rocket. Is it serious? No, I don't think so. Buddy, run and get me that emergency tool kit. Well, look. Wilma must have missed us, and she's turning back. No, that's a cane ship. Duck behind these rocks. Climbing higher for better position. Those rocks just east of the ship. Dive to 500 and bomb them. Attention all ships. Dive to 500 and bomb in formation. Here they come. Bad, buddy. No, it's really it's just a piece of rock, I guess. Did we get him? Not that time. One more dive ought to do it. Now, we don't stand a chance here. Let's get deeper in those rocks before they dive again. Go. Okay, Patton, let them have it. Did we get him? Not that time. One more dive ought to do it. Now, we don't stand a chance here. Let's get deeper in those rocks before they dive again. about Buck. Oh, he's all right. But that captured cane ship was much faster than ours. He should have caught up with us a long time ago. Say, maybe that burst of yours crippled them so they couldn't take off. Maybe 
be right. I'll report to the squadron commander. Lieutenant Deering calling the squadron commander. Squadron commander. Go ahead, Lieutenant Deering. Colonel Rogers should have caught up with us long before this, sir. I'm afraid a ship may be crippled. I suggest we turn back. Perhaps you're right, Lieutenant. We'll do so. Thank you. Wait, tell him. What's the matter, kid? One of them's down. One more dive ought to finish them. I'm all right, Buck. You fellas go ahead and... Bud! Buddy, give me a hand, tell him. We'd better finish him. We ever want to face Killer Kane again. Kane Squadron. All ships stand by to dive. Objective, enemy squadron, 4,000 below us. Attack in formation B. It's a hidden city squadron. They're right on us. Rogers, look. like Wilma Squadron. Let's work back toward our ship. Give her full throttle. Let's get out of here. Lieutenant Deering, mind your ship and look for Rogers. All other ships follow me in pursuit. One of your ships has just landed. Wilma, probably. Hope so. It's Wilma, all right. Here she comes. Golly, I'm glad you're here. Let's get back to the ship, quick. Right, Buck. You think he's badly hurt, Buck? Well, I hope not. We'll have to get him to a hospital. Colonel Rogers, you'll take Lieutenant Deering's ship. I'll repair yours and follow. Thank you very much, Captain. Help me, Be right back, buddy. Ready for the starting rifles? Right, Buck. How far are we? City. Only a few minutes' flight. You better call Dr. Hewer and tell him about Prince Talon and Buddy. I'm going on back, see if he's all right. All right. Lieutenant Deering calling Dr. Hewer of the Hidden City. Lieutenant Deering calling Dr. Hewer of the Hidden City. Uh, Dr. Hewer answering. Go ahead, Lieutenant Deering. I'm approaching the city. We have Prince Talon, an envoy from the planet Saturn, with us. Envoy from Saturn? I shall be at the Air Dome to welcome him in person. Fine. Will you also have a hospital attendant on hand, please? Buddy Wade is badly injured. Buddy Wade? I shall tend to all arrangements. Anything else? No, that is all. Lieutenant Deering calling the air control at Hidden City. Lieutenant Deering calling the air control at Hidden City. Control officer answering, Lieutenant Deering. I'm approaching the city. Watch the indicator and make ready for landing, please. Detail advised. Come in, Lieutenant. See, Talon, what we've been forced to do to escape Kane and his outlaw army? of my planet Saturn, you will soon see the end of Killer King. Thank you. The landing, Buck. That was a nice landing, Wilma.
I careful with him, man. Wilma, you look after Buddy while I report to Dr. Hewer. Yes, I will, Buck. Colonel Rogers, how's Buddy? He's been taken care of, sir. Dr. Hewer, this is Prince Talon, envoy from the planet Saturn. Dr. Hewer is our scientist general. And Air Marshal Craig, our operations chief. Prince Talon? Prince Talon, you bring new hope to a beleaguered race. If it had not been for Colonel Rogers, I think your enemy would have tricked me into fighting you instead of helping you. I am authorized to sign this treaty, pledging our support to your cause. It would be more honest to let you see our people and decide whether we are worthy of your help. Hello, Wilma. Hello, buddy. I'm so glad you're better. For a while, I was a little worried about you. Oh, shucks, I'm all right. Well, how about Buck and Prince Talon? Did Kane's men get them? No, they're perfectly safe, but you mustn't excite yourself. I think you'd better go now, Lieutenant. He's still a pretty sick soldier. All right, Doctor. Well, bye, buddy. Bye. Lieutenant Deering, it would be well to contact the planet Saturn. Yes, sir. Advise them that we have signed the treaty with Prince Talon, but they are at war with Killer Kane. Yes, sir. The Earth calling planet Saturn. The Earth calling planet Saturn. I assure the leader that the Hidden City Squadron was upon us before we could bomb Rogers and Talon again. So you allowed Rogers to escape with Talon to the Hidden City? We could not help ourselves. You see, we were science. If Talon pledges the aid of Saturn to Dr. Hewer, they will drive us from the face of the Earth. We brought it on ourselves. You should have taken my advice. Quit when we had enough. Since you are so clever, you shall take a spaceship to Saturn and arrange a treaty with her people before Talon has time to report back. I refuse. I will not be a tool for your insane ambitions. I am in command here, Cranko. Take him away to the robot battalion where he can forget his grievances. You can't send me there, Kane, you can't. I'll head your commission to Saturn. I'll head your commission to Saturn, but don't send me to Robert's Kane. No! Anything to say, say it now, Crinko. When this helmet is in place, you'll never think nor speak again. You can tell Kane that I'll escape. I'll live to see the day that his... One more dead mine in the ranks of the leader's enemies. I trust no others share the feelings of the late Councillor Krenko. Being a kindly ruler, I shall give you a chance to redeem yourself. Thank you, sir. Fly a spaceship to Saturn and arrange the treaty that Krenko refused to try. If you succeed, there is an empty chair at my council table. The Earth calling the planet Saturn. I'm afraid it's useless, Doctor. Apparently, our receiving sets are not in tune with your projectors. In that event, you'll have to return to Saturn by spaceship. I doubt whether such a trip is possible. Air controls. Book reports from our outer atmosphere observatory. Report just received, sir. Killer Kane has doubled all air patrols in that stratum. A spaceship wouldn't have a chance. I am not quite so sure about that, Crag. Not sure? You know what's happened to all our ships that tried to break through. Yes, but I've been working on a little experiment that may help us. What kind of an experiment? Well, I didn't mean to show it until I had perfected it, but uh, even as it is, it may serve our purpose. Just step over to this window. 
Watch the ship nearest you. Stand well back. I don't want to experiment on you. Do you know anything about this? I knew he was working on something, but he wouldn't say what it was. Now keep your eye on that ship. I don't say anything strange about it. What's it supposed to do, Doctor? Blow up or something? Why, it's, it's disappearing in the thin air. Oh, don't get in the ray. Might do the same thing to you. Wouldn't harm you very much, but it may take some time to bring you back to visibility. But I don't see how that'll help, sir. If you've destroyed the ship... Oh, but I haven't. The ship is still there, but you can't see it. I have discovered a ray which reduces all opaque matter to transparency, perfect as the ether itself. Unfortunately, I can hold it only for a matter of a few minutes, ten at most. And the ray won't harm anybody inside the ship? Not at all. Well, then the problem's solved. We fly through Kane's blockade in an invisible ship. And the sooner we start, the better. Yes. They'll need a navigator set. Oh, yes, so they will. You will report to the air control room and make ready for immediate flight. Yes, sir. If I have to take you with me, we'd better get to the control room. Doctor? Have the rockets loaded into a spaceship for immediate takeoff. Yes, sir. Rocket laboratory. This is the air control office. Have spaceship LZ-9 loaded immediately for takeoff. These are retarding rockets. Make sure you put them in the lower racks with the firing end forward. You'll be pretty much on your own when you reach Saturn. If it reaches the rest of the meat, we'll... But you'll be killed! Get back to your own to blow up any minute! There's nothing you can do, sir! Isn't there something we can do to stop it? You'll be killed! What? Are you hurt? I'm all right, Jella. I cut the circuit to the main rocket tubes. <coughs> Better fire another rocket, Wilma. I hope we get through Kane's blockade. All depends on Dr. Hewer, Helen. I'll radio him as soon as we spot any of the Kane ships. Buck, there they are, right above us. Dr. Ewer. Dr. Ewer. Buck Rogers calling. This is Dr. Ewer. Go ahead, Buck. We spotted the Kane ship, sir. They're directly above us. That is Buck. A hidden city ship rising, sir. Trying to run our blockade. Head straight for it. Man the ray guns. Hold your fire and I'll give the order. It's working perfectly, Doctor. Look. It's disappearing into thin air. It's vanished. Attention all patrol ships. A hidden city spaceship has just run our blockade. Spread out, circle and try to locate it. All right, Talon? Yes. You, Wilma? Fine, Buck. Stand by your rocket controls. Here we are back to normal again. <laughs> Was that a relief? Strange sensation being up here in a ship we couldn't see. Now, the main thing is we got through Killer Kane's blockade. Now the only thing left between us and Saturn is <laughs> space. Well, we made it. We're over Saturn again.
again. Buck, look, a killer cane ship. It's just what I was expecting. They beat us here. Don't worry. I'll straighten all that out when I talk to the Saturnian consul. There doesn't seem to be anybody around that spaceship. If we could cripple it, we'd be sure that Killer Kane's men couldn't make a getaway. It's risky, Colonel Rogers, but let's try it. Looks like they've spotted our ship. I hope they have. We may try to disable it. That's just what I want them to do. Keep your eyes on these robots. I don't want Rogers to find them. Not a soul in sight. You two keep me covered. I want to drop those rockets. We got them right where we want them. They're locked, Colonel Rogers. I tell you what you do. Run over to our ship and get a wrench. We're trapped. The door is locked. It's locked, all right. I should have suspected something like this. Hit the floor, quick, it's poison gas. Keep your mouth and nose covered. I can't. That ought to take care of them. I want to drop those rockets. We got them right where we want them. They're locked, Colonel Rogers. I tell you what you do. Run over to our ship and get a wrench. We're trapped. The door is locked. It's locked, all right. I should have suspected something like this. Get the floor quick, it's poison gas. Keep your mouth and nose covered. I can't. That ought to take care of them. Don't turn that gas off yet. 
They haven't had enough to finish them. We don't dare finish them. The Saturnians learn the fate of their Prince Talon, you know what'll happen. Well, what are you going to do? Clear the gas out of there and get orders from our leader on the planet Earth. That's probably wiser. Wait. Want that gas to paralyze you too? Keep breathing that antidote till the gas gets out of the ship. Laska on Saturn calling the leader. Captain Laska on Saturn calling the leader. Captain Lasker, reporting from Saturn. Never mind all that. Have you the treaty with the Saturnian Council? The Saturnians refused to ratify until they'd heard directly from Prince Talon. Then you failed. Oh, no, sir. I have Prince Talon as my prisoner here on the spaceship with Buck Rogers and Lieutenant Deering of the Hidden City. I shall reward you for this, Captain Lasker. Talon must never reach the Saturnian Council. Does the leader mean that I'm to put my prisoners out of the way? No, no, Lasker. I have a better purpose in mind. Do you have the two robot oilers with you? Yes, sir. Then listen carefully. Inside each helmet is a filament which induces their hypnotic condition. Remove that filament from one of the helmets. I thought I told you to watch those robots. Well, they're just over here where we left them. Bring him out of it now. What have you done with Buck Rogers and Lieutenant Deering? We haven't done anything with them yet. Keep it. You'll need it to bring Rogers and the girl out of that gas. But don't do it until after I brought Talon before the council. You will take me before the Consul, knowing what I shall tell them about you and Killer Kane, your leader? You'll tell them exactly what I want you to tell them. That's from one of Killer Kane's amnesia helmets. Right. I'll start forgetting everything but what I want you to say. When the Consul hears what you've done... You can untie him now. Come along, Prince Talon. Prince Talon, what have you done with him? You needn't worry about Talon. He'll be of no further use to you. 
You suppose Helen escaped? I hope so, but I doubt it. Listen, Buck. Somebody trying to get us on the space radio. I think we'd better answer that call. Oh, but I don't... I, I don't know how to answer... Come on. Hey, wait a minute. That's your friend, Dr. Hewer. You say just what I tell you to say. Dr. Hewer of the Hidden City on Earth calling Colonel Rogers. Dr. Hewer of the Hidden City on Earth calling Colonel Rogers. All right, answer his call. Yes, Dr. Hewer. This is Lieutenant Deering. Oh, yes, Wilma. Then you're safe. Let me speak with Colonel Rogers. Rogers left here with Prince Talon. He left here with Prince Talon, Doctor. Hello, Wilma. This is Buddy. Tell Buck I'm all right. I'm out of the hospital already. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Buddy. Tell Dr. Hewer that... Now, this is Dr. Hewer again. What about the treaty with Saturn? Tell him it's being signed right now. They're signing it now, Doctor. Then tell Rogers to radio me as soon as he returns to the ship. Very well, Dr. Hewer. I will. All right. You can go back to Rogers now. Doctor, that was good news about the treaty, wasn't it? Yes, it is, buddy. The support of the people of Saturn means the salvation of the hidden city. All right, up against the wall. Quick, get the key. I may be able to stop them. Come on. It's one of Kay's robots. between two fires. Look, I've got it. You stay here, Wilma. If I can keep that rope of throwing rocks at it, it may hit some of them down there. Stay back here. I have to stop that robot or he's going to kill us both. Wilma. One of them's down. We'll try it this way. Spaceship.
Saturnians don't look like... What did Talon say they were? Zugs. They're harmless unless acting under orders. You were Earth people. How did you get here on Saturn? We came here with Prince Talon. There was an accident. An accident? Prince Talon passed here but a short time ago with another Earth man. Would you take us to him at once, please? It's very important. I'll do what I can. An amazing tale you bring us, Prince Talon. But from your strange and apathetic appearance, I can realize how terrible must have been the ordeal. What is it, Lieutenant? Two Earth people desire admission, sir. They claim to have come to Saturn with Prince Talon. Two Earth people, you say? Yes, one of them is a woman. Shall they be admitted, Captain Lasker? Are they of your party? They are not of our party, but I suggest you admit them under guard. Remember, they are your enemies. Admit them. They are my enemies. You have heard Prince Talon. Admit the Earth people. You may enter, but you must leave your weapons here. Only the guards are permitted to enter the forum armed. Certainly. Seize them! Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's this all about? We're members of Prince Talon's commission. Go on, tell them, Talon. Tell them the truth, Prince Talon. Repeat what you just told the council. They are my enemies. What is this, Buck? He looks right through us as if he doesn't even see us. Some trick of Laskus. He's under some sort Talon. of... Prince Talon, are you ready to prefer charges against these Earth people? Tell them what you told me on the way to this forum. I was sent to the Earth to pledge our support to Leader Kane in his war against revolutionaries. Outlaw residents of a hidden city. This man captured me and forced me to promise our support to his outlaws. My only chance to return to Saturn was to pretend to agree to his proposal. That's not true. I tell you, he's under some sort of hypnotic spell. Tell him, what's the matter with you? Don't you even recognize me? Let me have the pleasure of handling this. Turn and face the council. And hear judgment passed on you for your crimes against Prince Talon. Stand where you are. Woman, get back to the sliding panel. Seize them. I wouldn't try that if I were you. Now try to stop us from getting out of the forum. Do you have any regard for your Prince Talon? After them! All of you! Wilma, bring up a car, quick! Sound the alarm! They must not escape! What are you going to do? Melt the switch contacts so they can't cut off the power. Shut off the power. I can't. They're melted the terminals. Glad that guard didn't call my bluff. Our bluff? I don't understand, Buck. You don't think I would have shot our friend Talon, do you? Our friend? After all the lies he told the council about us? He was only acting under orders from Alaska. Why, I can't imagine. Maybe we can find out if we can get him out of here safely. Is there no other way to cut off their escape? Only by closing the safety gate at the other end. But that would mean they're dead. Close the gate. 
You forget that Prince Talon's in that car. Close that gate. You have no right to give orders here. Get away from that switch. Hold the reverse lever, quickly. I can't. Shout our friend Talon, do you? Our friend? After all the lies he told the council about us? He's only acting under orders from Lasker. Why, I can't imagine. Maybe we can find out if we can get him out of here safely. Is there no other way to cut off their escape? Only by closing the safety gate at the other end. But that would mean their death. Close the gate. You forget that Prince Talon's in that car. Close that gate. You have no right to give orders here. Get away from that switch! Hold the reverse lever, quickly. I can't. Stand back, hold. Open the escape gate, quick. Are you badly hurt, Wilma? So, I think it was really more fright than anything else that made me faint. I'm going to get Talon out into the air. Imprison this man till the council decide what sentence to impose for attempting the life of Prince Talon. Prepare those terminals. Call up the Zugs for wrecking car detail.
Pop? He doesn't seem to be. He's not unconscious. Still has that same vacant stare he had in the council room. Oh, it's you, Rogers. What happened? How did we get here in the tunnel? Uh, you had a sentence to death by your counsel, using you as a shield and making an escape in this bullet car when it was wrecked. I had you sentenced to death? Yes, don't you remember? Miss Tellen, with your permission, we'll take charge of the prisoners. These Earth people are not prisoners. They are my best friends. I am sure your highness must be suffering from shock. You had them condemned to death, and I must return them as prisoners to the council. I can explain this. Laska took this from one of the amnesia helmets and put it in mine. And that's it? That's Kane's way of destroying the minds of his captives, forcing them to obey his commands. You can prove it by trying it on yourself. No. We are satisfied, and I'm sure the Council will be happy to know the Earthman has not broken faith with you. Clear the wreckage. Then we'll return to the farm and tell them the truth about Kane's Lieutenant Laska. Just a minute. Will you need all your men for this work? No, why? I have three of Kane's men prisoners in their spaceship. I'd like to turn them over to your guards. By all means. Have four of your men accompany Colonel Rogers and obey him as they would obey me. We had to kill him. Here comes Buck Rogers with the squad of Saturnians. Fire the starting rockets. Something's gone wrong. They're taking off. Follow them in my spaceship. Careful, that's the starting lever. Get out! Have you done any serious harm, Colonel Rogers? Probably not. They've dumped the starting rockets and it'll take a half an hour to reload them. Uh, we'll never catch that cane ship now. Perhaps it's just as well. They're headed back for Earth anyway. We're at three quarter speed now, Alaska. Let me know when you want it full. You're not on the course for Earth. And I'm not going to Earth. You're going back to Saturn? You don't want to go back to Earth and tell Killer Kane that Buck Rogers beat us again, do you? I'll start the retarding rockets. Not yet. We'll cruise around a while before we land. Roberts and have a look around for possible night patrols. All right. Come on, Roberts. You come with me, Scott. We have assembled to right a grievous wrong done to Buck Rogers of the planet Earth, Prince Talon has told us why he believes that we, the people of Saturn, 
should ally ourselves with the people of Hidden City rather than the outlaws of Killer Kane. How do you feel about the matter? Hand me the treaty. Prince Talon, you have earned the right to present this treaty to your friend. Ask him. of the planet Saturn to support you in your war against Killer Kane's outlaw armies. Thank you, Teller. And now, sir, with your permission, I'll call the scientist general on Earth. Tell him the news. You mean you can actually talk to the Earth from the planet Saturn? Yes, sir. That's why I had the radio brought here from the ship. Just calling the scientist general on Earth. Dr. Hewer's laboratory. This is the air control office. Colonel Rogers calling Dr. Hewer from Saturn. Dr. Hewer is in the air marshal's office. Thank you. I'll call him there. Marshal Craig speaking. Colonel Rogers from Saturn calling the scientist general. Rogers calling you, Doctor. This is Dr. Hugh uh, Buck. I'm happy to inform you, sir, that Saturnian Treaty has been signed. Splendid, Buck, splendid. And Wilma, how is she? We're both fine, Doctor. We had some trouble with Killer Kane's men. I'll report that later. When are you returning? In a day or two, sir. There are a few minor details to attend to. Well, let me know when you start. I will, sir. Goodbye. We must find some splendid reward for that boy, Craig. It's not within the power of man to reward that boy for what he's done. What can be keeping Patton and Roberts? Can't make a move till they get back. Looks like them now. What happened to you? You run into any Saturnian patrols? No. Do you know that robot we left for dead up in the rocks? What about him? Well, he's only stunned. He's as much alive as we are. Well, why didn't you bring him? We didn't dare try. A lot of those zugs found him. They acted as though he was some sort of a god, the way they kept kneeling and bowing before him. So? This may be just the break we need. Let me have a look at that. Stay here, Roberts. Come with me, Pat. I think this will work out perfectly. I don't get the idea. If they think he's a god, they'll obey him. And I can tell them what orders to give him. That sounds risky to me. Of course it is. It's worth trying, isn't it? All right. Who are you? Martin, tell the Zugs to capture the guards. Make these men prisoners.
Tell them we're their friends. These men are your friends. Tell them to gather all their men. We're going to free them from the rule of the Saturnians. Gather all Zugs. Follow these men to war on all Saturnians. the guard, the Zugs in revolt. Now that all details of our treaty with the friends of Buck Rogers are completed, the meeting is adjourned. I have just received word. The Zugs have risen in revolt. They are marching on the Forum. Marching on this Forum? Who is leading them? The Earthman, who tried to kill Prince Talon. That must be Laska, sir. If we don't stop him, he'll demand Saturn as a vassal state to his leader, Killer Kane. time for that, sir. I suggest Buck Rogers be put in charge of our defense while we... It's a little too late for that, Prince Talon. Explain the meaning of this intrusion, Captain Lasker. Explain the purpose of our call. My friends, the Zugs have come to take over the rule of Saturn. From whom will you now take your orders? From our leader, Cain, of the Earth. And now, with your permission, I shall contact the leader, Cain, and have him send a spaceship squadron to keep order here. If he does that, we're sunk. I'll have to stop him. Careful, Buck. He won't hesitate to kill. Captain Lasker calling the leader Kane on Earth. Captain Lasker calling the leader Kane on Earth. Yes, Lasker, this is the leader. What have you to report? Look out, Buck. The dogs.
Explain the meaning of this intrusion, Captain Lasker. Explain the purpose of our call. My friends, the Zugs have come to take over the rule of Saturn. From whom will you now take your orders? From our leader, Cain, of the Earth. And now, with your permission, I shall contact the leader, Cain, and have him send a spaceship squadron to keep order here. If he does that, we're sunk. I'll have to stop him. Careful, Buck. He won't hesitate to kill. Captain Lasker calling the leader Kane on Earth. Captain Lasker calling the leader Kane on Earth. Yes, Lasker, this is the leader. What have you to report? Look out, Buck. The Zugs! Block all exits and capture Rogers. Block every exit. Capture that man. Have them all imprisoned. These two in a cell by themselves. Imprison them. I forbid their imprisonment. I am director of the forum. You were director of the forum. From now on, you'll take orders from this Earth man. Stop all this time, Lasker. The Zugs are not used to power. When they find their strength, they'll turn on you and destroy you. <laughs> take them away. here on guard. What do you suppose they're going to do to us, Talon? We must be prepared for anything as long as Killer Kane's men are in power. Who is on guard outside? Answer me. I am Talon, your prince. Just condor, your highness. How long are we to remain prisoners? Until your state is decided, Your Highness. You cannot hope to hold this city. Buck Rogers is on his way with help. Buck Rogers will be captured and then... It's Buck! Wilma, close that door. Is he badly hurt? No, only stunned. Here. Help me tie him up so he can't give an alarm. 
we going to do now, Buck? Get to the spaceship? Not until we try to help the Saturnians. There's nothing we can do. Alaska and his men are too strong for us. Not if I can spend a half minute with that robot that Suggs think is a god. What good will that do? He's in hypnotic condition and gives whatever orders Alaska tells him. Yes, but I can break that spell if I can get to him. Tell him. How can I reach the form without going through all these corridors? I can get you to the form unseen, but you can't cope with the force of guards there with Alaska. Good. Get me there. I think we have a chance. Leads to the farm, but I still urge you not to risk it. It's made to order. All right, Wilma. Careful now. Continue the search for Buck Rogers. Tomorrow we shall begin the execution of all those Saturnians who are not loyal to the Earth Clan's rule. Alaska, tell your thugs to lay down their ray guns. Tell him, Lasker. The shot from one of them won't stop me from taking you. Tell the Zugs to lay down their arms. Lay down your arms. Now tell them to obey Prince Talon, as they would obey the robot. Tell them. To obey Prince Talon. Obey Prince Talon as you would obey me. Talon, keep him covered. I'm going to take the helmet off the robot. Tell the Zugs to fire on Rogers. You're taking orders from me. Keep this man covered. Take it easy. You're all right. You're, you're wearing one of our uniforms. And you, you're Lieutenant Deering. Yes, Captain Lawton. Then I'm back in the Hidden City? You're, you're partly right. We are from the Hidden City on Earth. But right now, you're on the planet, Saturn. Then one of our expeditions ran Killer Kane's air blocking. Yes. Colonel Rogers came here to sign a treaty with us and your war with Killer Kane. But how did I get here? I can't remember. Well, you were put under a hypnotic spell, brought here in one of Kane's ships as a robot. Don't you remember this helmet? And this filament that steals the mind of any man who wears it? The amnesia helmet. That infernal invention of Killer Kane's. Yes, I remember now. And by means of it, Vasca forced you to lead a revolt against us. Your friend. A revolt? Oh, I... I didn't know. Isn't there any way I can make amends? Yes, there is a way. These Zugs think that you're a god. Put back on this helmet again and... No, 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 please don't ask me to do that. I, I couldn't. But it's harmless. I've taken away the filament. Put it back on and order these men to bring in the other rebels. It's the only way you can help. Go bring all the Zugs. Tell them to lay down their arms and obey their old rulers. Will they really obey? We shall soon see. Take the Earthman Alaska and put him in a dungeon where he can no longer harm you or us. Now, sir, 
Lieutenant Deering and I must return to the Earth immediately. So I realize the need for your haste. I will see you to your spaceship. Thank you, Teller. Goodbye, sir. Starting rockets. Colonel Rogers on Saturn calling a scientist general on Earth. Air control room calling the scientist general. Air control room calling the scientist general. Dr. Hewer, it's Buck Rogers. Yes, Buck. Is everything all right? Yes, sir. Wilma and I are taking off immediately, sir, but before we do, we wanted to check with you about the dissolve ray. It's still imperfect, but we can count on it to make you invisible long enough to slip through Kay's air blockade. That's fine, Doctor. Then as soon as we near the Earth, we'll advise you. As long as Dr. Hewer is ready for you, there is nothing to keep you here any longer. No, Talon. We'll get in touch with you on the space radio as soon as we decide the best way to rid the Earth of Killer Kane and his outlaw army. The best of luck to you. Thank you, Talon. Try the starting rocket, Wilma. Check over the dissolve array apparatus at once and bring it here. Colonel Rogers is on his way back from Saturn, and we'll need to bring him through the blockade. Yes, sir. preparing another expedition to force the Saturnians to sign a treaty with us. This time I shall... This is the leader. Sir, an unidentified space has been reported returning from Saturn. Notify the commander of the Outer Atmosphere Patrol and keep me closely informed. report an unidentified spaceship returning from Saturn. Perhaps Laska has been successful after all. We'll make no move until we learn more. Adjourn. Patrol 62, calling Patrol 62. Patrol 62, calling Patrol 62. This is Patrol 62. This is Commander White. Take your patrol to the 120,000 foot level. Watch for a spaceship returning from Saturn. If it is an enemy craft, bring it down. Yes, sir. 120,000 foot level. Yes, sir. Wilma, you better give me a few retarding rockets. We'll soon be in the outer atmosphere. All right. Dr. Hewer. Dr. Hewer. We're approaching the 160,000 foot level, sir. Stand by with your dissolve ray. We're all set, Buck. Just give the word. Buck, there's a Kane patrol squadron coming up fast beneath us. Dr. Hewer, give us the ray now, sir. One of Kane's patrol squadrons has spotted us.
There she is. Squadron 62, spaceship sighted. Fly above it and use attack formation 9. at this level. That ship seems to be disappearing. It's working perfectly, Crag. Subway. Control tube is burst. I take a few minutes to replace it. Dr. Ewer, it's all right, sir. We're safely through them. There she is, straight ahead. All squadrons converge on our position and attack a hidden city ship. seems to be disappearing. Doc, Doc, the main control tube is burst. I take a few minutes to replace it. Dr. Ewer, it's all right, sir. We're safely through them. There she is, straight ahead. All squadrons converge on our position and attack a hidden city ship. Look, it's another squadron. Dr. Hewer. Give us the ring again, sir. I've been trying to, Buck, but the main tube has burst. your rockets. I'll try to make a forced landing. We're gonna crash. Stand clear. They've crashed in mid-air, Doctor. 
Captain Rankin. Captain Rankin. Yes, sir. Hold your squadron ready to take off at a moment's notice. Yes, sir. they come through that crash, there's no chance for them now. Three of Kane's ships are coming in for a landing. Squadron's ready to take off, sir. Take off immediately. Your flight direction is roughly north or west. Your exact map coordinates will be radioed to you. Very well, sir. Flight formation B, north by west. We'll pick up map coordinates by radio. has wanted to get his hands on this Buck Rogers for a long time. You've done with Lieutenant Deering. We are not here to discuss her. You are the one we are interested in. Rogers, you have been the source of considerable annoyance to me. But that's all over now. You may even be of some help to us if you place any real value on your life. A uh, bargain, eh, Kane? What is it? Lead one of my combat squadrons to the secret entrance of the hidden city. Do you really believe Dr. Hewitt's men would do that? Get one of the amnesia helmets. What good will it do to put that helmet on him? That only robs him of his memory and his will. We can't learn anything that way. They'll get you for this, Kent. Put it on him. Polish my boot.
take him to the dynamo room. That will be all. Adjourn. And there was nothing left at the ship, sir, except a few steel plates, all buckled and twisted with the flames. We could hardly have expected anything else. We shall miss those two, both as friends and as soldiers. As long as Rogers was alive, I believe eventually we could have defeated Killer Kane and his outlaws. Fortunately, his last act was to secure us the support of the men on the planet Saturn. What makes you all so sure that Buck and... Buck and Wilmer are dead? You wouldn't ask that, buddy. If you could have seen their ship. Well, they might have escaped with their degravity belts. They didn't have time for that. I saw the crash through the televi. But Kane's ships landed. They might have taken them as prisoners. Oh, I just know they're not dead. If Kane has captured them, their death will be just as certain and even more brutal. But Kane wouldn't kill them, sir. I know. I was with him on Saturn. I... Dr. Ewer, could your pastoscope bring back a scene that happened on another planet? Why, yes, I... I believe we could pick it up if it happened recently. Then please try to bring back the scene where Kane's men captured Buck on Saturn. I'm sure it'll prove to you, sir, why Buck is so much more valuable to Kane alive than he is dead. Very well, but it'll only be an experiment. We may not be able to recreate a scene that happened on another planet at all. Of course, the first thing is to blot out the present from our vision. The next is to coordinate the time with a distance to Saturn. And if we can find the exact point of convergence, we... That's it, Saturn. It's right near where our ship was forced down. Buck. Nice going, buddy. Done like a major. How many of you on the loose around here? How many? Four of us. Four, huh? Wilma. Wilma, keep him covered. Come on, on your feet, sir. Come along, buddy. We've got a date for another surprise party. on your feet. Get him back around out of sight. Stop where you are. Hand me that gun. Give it to me. There's nothing else you can do, woman. All right, then. Let's get them back to the spaceship. There, you see what I mean, sir? But it still doesn't give us reason to believe Buck and Wilmer escaped from the ship, buddy. Oh, I don't care what any of you say. I know Buck is still alive. I just know it.
You may report back to your commander, Captain Rankin. Yes. Captain Rankin, you don't think Buck is dead, do you, sir? Buddy, I don't know what to think. Well, then why not find out, sir? Find out? How? Well, fly me over to Killer Cane City and don't be looking when I bail out. My buddy, Marshal Craig, would never permit such a thing. Well, he needn't know, sir. Oh, oh, Buck Rogers wouldn't run out on us if we were in trouble, would he? No, I... I suppose he wouldn't. Well, then we can't run out on him, can we? Might mean a court-martial. But we can't desert him as long as there's a chance. Come on, bud. Another one from Hidden City? One of the leaders, Buck Rogers. Looks like he might have been a pretty good man when he was a man. I got just the job for him. All right, you. Get over there. better about this, buddy, if I were going with you. Oh, Days to kid, I could probably get away with a lot more stuff than a couple of us could. Maybe you're right. I hope so. Well, say when you're ready. All right, Lieutenant. Happy landing. Thank you, sir. Turn on the searchlight. I think I heard something. Over to the right. Turn it off. I must have been mistaken.
newspaper, quickly! There's someone in this room. Find it. sign of him, sir. Well, don't stand there. Search the corridor. Search every room in the palace, but find him. What's all the excitement? The boy from Hidden City is somewhere in the palace. Did they say Buddy Wade was in the palace? Yes. And it won't be long before all your friends are out of our way forever. I didn't think even Killer Kane would make war on children. The leader Kane makes war on anyone who defies him. And he shows no mercy.
Better get back to our stations and wait for detailed orders. Halt! Wilma! Buddy, what on earth are you doing here? Well, Captain Rankin flew me over to Killer Kane City and I bailed out to try to find you and Buck. Kane's guards are looking for me. And they're after me, too. They had me locked up, but I managed to escape with a guard's ray gun. You know where Buck is? Is he alive? He's in the dynamo room. They've made him one of the robot battalion. You mean they've put one of those awful amnesia helmets on him that, that take away a man's mind? Yes, but the effect lasts only as long as he wears a helmet. We can get to the dynamo room through the gate. Come on. your helmets. That means the robots and harmless. I'll try and find Buck. All right, buddy. You little fool. You've done just what I wanted you to. Those men you passed are not robots. They're guards. Arrest her. Buddy! Guards! Buddy, how did you... There's no time to talk. Come on, let's get out of here. Take him alive.
Boy, I sure will be glad to get back to the hidden city. <laughs> sure can't use some sleep. I guess we all can, buddy. It won't be long now. I've contacted them, Buck. Good. Lieutenant Deering calling the hidden city. Lieutenant Deering calling the hidden city. Air control room. Go ahead, Lieutenant Deering. We're flying above the valley of vapor now. Have the gates ready, and above all things, notify the guard towers that we're landing in a Kane patrol ship. They've captured a Kane ship. They're coming in now. All right, Lieutenant Daring. We'll be on the watch for you. Clear landing field six. Watchtowers, attention all watchtowers. A Kane ship about to land. Let it through. Sky gun on deck seven. Do not fire on Kane ship. Let it through. Well, they'll probably make you a general or something for getting us out of this gym, buddy. Oh, not me, Buck. Think of all the gold braid I have to polish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid they'd give you an orderly, buddy. Congratulations, buddy. You certainly knew what you were doing. Sure did, Jenny Rankin. Oh, Lacey, check the machinery on this ship. The Air Marshal will want all the information he can get on it. Yes, sir. See Dr. Huron at once. Come. Rogers. Why, I never expected to see any of you again. Well, if it hadn't been for Buddy, sir, you wouldn't have seen us again. Oh, shucks, Buck. You'd have done as much for me. <laughs> now, sir, I suppose you're anxious to hear about the Saturnian Treaty? By all means, Colonel. The rulers of the planet Saturn are with us in our fight against Killer Kane, sir. They're going to send spaceships as soon as we're ready to attack. With this support, we cannot lose. We must call a meeting of the War Council at once. Yes. Yeah. I'll take over now. Oh, you're early. A little. I was anxious to find out what's been happening. Well, the war minister's been in there with Craig since 9 o'clock. Something's up. Yeah. Well, good night. Good night. Get in that room. Calling the leader Kane, calling the leader. Calling the leader Kane, calling the leader. Calling the leader Kane, calling the leader. 
This is the leader, Kane. Sir, this is Carson of your private patrol ship. I'm on the Hidden City Air Control Room. Hidden City? Do you know where the secret entrance is? Yes, sir. It's in the Valley 100 on our maps. The gates are open now. I'll notify the Outer Atmosphere Patrol at once. The leader, calling Commander White. This is Commander White, sir. The secret entrance to the Hidden City is in Valley 100. The gates are open. Proceed there with your squadron and destroy the city. It shall be done, sir. Contact. All ships. Attention, all ships. Objective Valley 100 at full throttle. Well, so. gentlemen, we'll see you in the morning. Good night, Marshal. Good night, Colonel. Good night, Good night Counselor. Good night. You know, Marshal Craig, I still believe that every day we delay our attack on Killer Kane is a day lost. I'm inclined to agree with you, Colonel. We'll discuss it again at the War Council tomorrow. Yes, sir. Excuse me a moment. Any messages for me? No, sir. Where's the other operator? I don't know, sir. He left a few minutes ago. Well, if he'll go back to straight duty for this, the fools let the gates open. Don't touch that switch! A Kane spy! That's right. Brought here by Colonel Rogers himself. Oh, so you stowed away in that patrol ship, did you? I should have had sense enough to search it. You won't have to worry long about that, Colonel. There's a full squadron of the leader's planes on the way here now. That squadron will be here any minute now. Uh, the airport guards will blast them to pieces before they land. I think you're mistaken. sense enough to search it. You won't have to worry long about that, Colonel. There's a full squadron of the leader's planes on the way here now. That squadron will be here any minute now. Uh, the airport guards will blast them to pieces before they land. I think you're mistaken.
Marshal Craig speaking. Send all available men to the airport. Two of Killer Kane's patrol ships have forced the hidden gates. We've got to work fast. Show them no mercy. Stand right where you are. No use. We're outnumbered ten to one. Take their guns, men. I'll throw them in the guardhouse and put them in iron. Killer Kane's crews have been captured, sir. Get a doctor here quickly, Rankin. Don't bother, sir. Just a burn from a ray gun. Be all right tomorrow. I hope so. We'll need you at the War Council meeting. Remove that prisoner. All right, men. Take him away. May I suggest, sir, that the best possible defense is a bold offensive. After what happened last night, our only chance is to attack Killer Kane immediately. He now knows the secret entrance to our city, and every hour we delay weakens our chances. I suggest, sir, that we contact our allies on Saturn immediately and ask their support. I said you might wait for Colonel Rogers, but no listening. Now move back from the door. Oh, gee, you don't think I'm one of Killer Kane's spies, do you? Well, we can't always tell. Now move back. Then it is the unanimous vote of this war council that we communicate with Saturn immediately, ask their promised support, and attack Kane's stronghold at once. We stand adjourned. You voiced my sentiments exactly. We radio Saturn from my laboratory. Yes, sir. Hey, Buck, can I come along? No, of course you can, old Taron. Saturn at once. But how can we hope to defeat Kane with so vast a force at his disposal? With Saturn's help, Wilma, we stand better than an even chance. Is the equipment in order? Yes, sir. It was checked only this morning. This is a catastrophe. The receiving set you left on Saturn is dead. We can't communicate with them. Maybe it's only turned off, sir. The set is dead. If there were any life at all, that lamp would flicker. Instead of burning steadily, we've got to get into communication with them. There's nothing I can do, Marshal. I've made two trips there already, sir. Looks like I'm going to have to make a third. You wouldn't stand a chance. After last night, the outer atmosphere will be swarming with Kane patrol ships. You couldn't make it in one of our ships. But I don't mean to take one of our own ships, sir. I'm going to take one of the captured Kane patrol ships. Patrol ship? They're not built for space journeys. I'm sorry, sir. I hadn't thought of that. I can fix that. I can have my technicians install extra rocket racks. You won't have a comfortable journey, but you'll get there. Stop them to work, sir. I'll be ready to take off as soon as the ship is in order. Oh, but, Buck, you don't mean to go alone. I'm afraid so, Wilma. I daren't take a single defender from the city. But you're armed. Ah, the arm's all right. Now, don't you worry about it. See you before I go. So long, buddy. Oh, I'll be seeing you, Buck. to your stations. Take off. I wish I'd seen Buddy. He's probably very busy at something or other. Yes, sir. 
Uh, Wilma, I'm sorry you're not making this trip. So am I, Buck. We'll be expecting you back soon. <laughs> Dr. Hero, I'll keep in constant communication with you, sir. Good. Goodbye. 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 speaking. Ship sighted coming up from the Hidden City Valley. Commander White speaking. Seven Squadron Patrol prepare for action against Hidden City ship. It's one of our scouts, sir. Cancel that last order. Ship identified as one of our scouts. Squadron Commander calling ship ZN-1. Squadron Commander calling ship ZN-1. ZN-1 answering. Go ahead, Commander. How did you manage to escape from Hidden City? What happened to the other ship? I did not broadcast my report, sir. Please advise all patrol ships ZN-1 en route to headquarters with urgent information. Squadron Commander calling all patrol ships. General orders. ZN-1 is an extra detail en route to Leader Kane's headquarters. Okay, buddy. You can come out anytime you want now. Say, how did you know I was in there? Well, when you're trying to hide out from somebody, be careful when you peek around corners. Oh, hi, kid. You saw me in the observation room. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Say, Bucky, you're not really going to Kane's headquarters, are you? Nah, I'll say we're not. Hey, buddy, you take the controls and keep her as she is. We're headed for the planet Saturn. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, the pressure's getting low. I'd better fry some more retarding rockets. Buck, can you do it with that bad arm? Ah, uh, the arm's all right. Just keep her nose down at the same angle. Remember your orders. Take them alive. As I remember it, that bullet railroad was over there, wasn't it, buddy? Yeah, I think so, Buck. be harmed. <laughs> now, what's this all about? I'm Colonel... Well, I'm Colonel Rogers from the Earth on an important mission for your government. Our orders are to detain all arrivals on Saturn, particularly people from Earth. But look, you don't understand. I've got to get to your form immediately. Prince Talon will vouch for us. It's because of what's happened to Prince Talon that we've been ordered to detain all strangers. What has happened? No more questions. Go ahead. Take one of them, buddy. Let me have it, buddy. Hurry, we've got to get to the farm. Wait a minute. Alaska. You mean Killer Kane's right-hand man? I, I thought he was right here in prison. He was when I left Saturn. That's a Kane spaceship. I'll bet he's behind whatever's happened to Prince Talon. 
Go on. waiting for us. Since our first contact with the people of the Earth, they have brought us nothing but trouble. Now a prince of royal blood has been stolen. His life threatened. While it is against the desire of every member of the Council, we are forced to accede to the wishes of Killer Kane's lieutenant if we are to save the life of Prince Talon. I am reluctant to agree, but since it is to save our prince's life, I move that we... Wait, please! Aldar. You will not save Prince Talon by accepting Kane's terms. Once he's here on Saturn, he will kill your prince and enslave your people. Gentlemen, you're dealing with the vilest type of crime known to man, kidnapping. Why, we've fought it on Earth for centuries. Men capable of such a crime are without honor. Their words are worthless. And Killer Kane is the foulest of the lot. Why, your own experience with him should tell you that I speak the truth. Have you so soon forgotten what happened when you sent Prince Talon to the Earth to form an alliance with him? I sent for you because my patience is about at an end. You have all read the treaty which our good friend Prince Talon has brought from our sister planet, Saturn. It pleases me. Buddy, get a gravity belt from the rack we just passed. Are there any objections from the councilors? then I submit it to you for your signatures. No one will sign that treaty, Kane. I'll take it. Guards! How did you get in here? We were here when you and Prince Talon entered the room. It's Buck Rogers. Who is Buck Rogers? He's a hidden city American who came to Saturn. Talon, you're not going to sign this treaty until I've had a chance to show you just why this man is called Killer Kane. Don't be a fool, Rogers. If you persist in this folly, my men will kill you. Not until I've shown Prince Talon just what you do with your prisoners, Kane. Get to the televite. Go on, move. Prince Talon, you go with him. Buddy, keep these counselors covered. Get the dynamo room. I said the dynamo room, Kane. See for yourself, Prince Talon. Those steel caps they're wearing are amnesia helmets, an invention of Kane's scientists to rob men of their minds and their will. But this is incredible. Nevertheless, Talon, it's true. Now do you know why we are fighting this man? Who is your leader? I shall be glad to treat with him. That's a very handsome gesture, Prince Talon. But how do you and Rogers plan to leave my city? You will be arrested by my guards before you can leave the palace. I've taken care of that, King. Buddy, toss me that gravity belt. That gravity belt? I don't understand. It's a device we use here on Earth. It's really an outgrowth of the old parachute. Put it on, Kelly. Oh, I see. Buddy. Out the window you go, you two. Well, how about you, Buck? Never mind about me. Get the car, 
you fools. If they get away, I'll put every man of you in the robot battalion. Knowing all this to be true, surely you must see that a treaty with Killer Cain will result only in your prince's death and the subjugation of your people. May I, who first suggested surrender, now withdraw my plea. Let us abide by our treaty with the people of the hidden city and fight Killer Cain. And you? I, too, cast my vote for war.
buddy. Oh, it's no use. What? I can't budge it. Ah, you'd have to flash to get me out of here. <clears throat> Maybe that's an idea. Buddy, get my disintegrator pistol. Here it is. Get back. It's going to be plenty hot around here for a minute. Make a landing and wait for results. If they don't come through, we'll bomb them again. Don't go out in the open. That's just what they want. Looks like the attack is over for the time being. Maybe they're out of bombs. Looks like he's going to make a landing. That's what we want them to do, sir. Wait a minute, we can't attack until we get reorganized. Attack? My orders are to obtain a truce from Captain Lasker until the members of the Forum can be assembled. You mean you're going to accept Kane's demands? I'm afraid so, Colonel Rogers. Lead the way, Patton. them to sign that treaty. You cannot bluff the men of Saturn into accepting your terms. It's not altogether a bluff, Prince Talon. I shall tell them that you send word asking that they surrender to save your life. You cannot take them that message. It is not true. Part of it is true. If I'm not back within an hour, you know how to deal with our prisoner. Put him against the wall and keep a close watch over him. Take Talon's guard. You cover the others. Hold it. All right, drop the gun. I've got them covered. Take them away. Colonel Rogers, the people of Saturn find themselves more deeply indebted to you than ever. Words alone cannot express our gratitude. If you can suggest a concrete means by which we can prove it, you need only command us. I need no proof, sir. Outside of your promise to support us in ridding the world of Killer Kane's outlaw army. You already have that promise, and we shall not fail you. Prince Talon, you will accord Colonel Rogers an escort of honor. Thank you, sir. Good luck, Colonel Rogers. Buddy, thank you. You'll be hearing from us, Prince Talon.
Colonel Rudge is calling the scientist general. Colonel Rudge is calling the scientist general. Hidden City Air Control Room. Hold on your wavelength, Colonel. I'll get the scientist general. The scientist general on 725, please. This is the scientist general. Colonel Rogers calling you, sir. Colonel Rogers? Put him on at once. Cruising at 60,000 feet, Doctor. Are you ready to go through the plan I suggested? Just waiting word from you, Buck. How many ships do you want sent up? Every one you have, Doctor. I want them to keep the Kane Patrol over the Hidden City occupied. So the Saturnian spaceships can slip through. But how are you going to get through, Buck? <laughs> you forget, Doctor. I'm in one of Kane's own ships. Fine. I'll check with Air Marshal Craig at once. Now, Lieutenant Deering, come with me. Send the planes up at once, Craig. Air control. Air control. All planes assigned to battle plan B take off immediately. Captain Rankin. All planes assigned to battle plan B are to take off immediately. All planes assigned to battle plan B take off immediately. single ship on Kane's private airfield. Dynamo room is over that way. down there? That's Crinkle. He was Kane's right-hand man until the killer had him thrown in the robot battalion. If we can get him loose, I have an idea he'll help us to get even. You. Call down to the guard and have Crinkle sent up here. Crinkle? That's right. Go on. Send Crankle up here. Crankle. Balcony. Move. Bud, keep him covered. Yes, I'm all right. Now listen. Listen. We've come here to free the robots and turn them against Kane. Put this back on again. It's harmless now. Then go down and remove the helmets from the others. You got that? 
That'll be a real pleasure. Fine. to the hidden city, we must destroy it immediately. I will send all air squadrons against it tomorrow. Hartwright, you will command the infantry that will follow in after the air attack. Yes, sir. Calling the leader Kane. Calling the leader Kane. Calling the leader Kane. We've been attacked by hidden city planes and fours. I've already lost a third of my ships. Commander White. Commander White. There's no time to lose. We must attack Hidden City immediately. Fuck Rogers. What does this mean? It means that you're through, Kane. Buddy. Quick, hold him. No! No! You'll take orders from me now, Kane. Get him over the space radio. Repeat what I tell you. This is the leader, Kane. Withdraw all outer atmosphere patrols to their flying fields. All right, Crinkle. This is the leader, Kane. Withdraw all outer atmosphere patrols to their flying fields. That means we have lost. All right, buddy. We're headed for the hidden city. Swell. <laughs> Dr. Hewer and Air Marshal Craig are waiting for you in the air control room. Thank you very much, Captain. Colonel Rogers and Buddy Wake, sir. You want to see us, sir? Yes, Colonel Rogers. Words mean but little at such a time as this, Colonel. But as a reward for ridding the Earth of its greatest menace, the outlaw army of Killer Kane, the War Council has appointed you Colonel-in-Chief in charge of a new Air Force to be organized from the remnants of Kane's flying service. That's a big order, sir. I'll do my best. In appreciation of your brave services, Master Wade, the War Council has voted you the Distinguished Service Cross. And although it is somewhat irregular because of your age, you are commissioned a flight lieutenant attached to the staff of Colonel Rogers. 
gosh, that's swell. Oh, Colonel Rogers. Yes, sir. You will remain, please. Be right with you, buddy. It is the desire of the War Council that you take up your duties in Killer Kane City at once, Colonel. Talon, I'm Marshall. glad to see you. They've just given me too much credit for our success. Marshal, sir, if it hadn't been for Prince Talon and his attorney in spaceships, our cause would have been lost. I'll tell him at once. Colonel Rogers. Yes? Pardon me, sir. I've just received a message from Dr. Heuer's laboratory that another of Kane's squadrons has been sighted. Another Kane squadron? Yes, sir. Will you go right down, please? Yes, thank you very much. Excuse me, sir. What's this about a Kane squadron? A Kane squadron? Buck, I don't understand. You don't understand? I just got a message from here that you decided another Kane squadron. But I didn't. I did that, Buck. I, uh, I knew Willem would want to congratulate you, but she couldn't because she was on duty, so I sort of fixed things up. <laughs> well, from now on, you can be my official fixer, buddy. Well, I guess the first thing an official fixer should know is when he's not wanted. Yeah. <laughs> 